we're here to see a very special dog with a very special owner, a real survivor. This is something very interesting. They've been out for a walk, and a long walk at that. So here they are, Hello, coming dog. along. Well, how are you? Very out well. for a walk? Out Enjoy yourself? Great, great, Good. great. Well, look, shall we go on into the house and we yes, can have indeed. a little bit of a chat? Yes. Off he goes for a little bit of a run. Well, Sparky is now nine year old, and at nine months old, he was involved in a very serious road traffic accident. Now, in many cases, animals which are seriously injured in road traffic accidents, the ca animals cannot look forward to a decent quality of life. And as such, therefore, having discussed the matter with the owners, it invariably, the result is that they're put down. In Sparky's case, because of the particular dog that Sparky is, and indeed because of the commitment of the owner and because of the commitment of the veterinary surgeon to the case, Sparky was given a chance. And as you can see, nine years on, he's doing very well indeed. Well, Gloria, Sparky, are you going to tell us how he originally got this injury? Um, he was, he chased cars as a, as a puppy and nothing you, could, you did would stop that. So eventually, of course, he was hit by one. Yeah and um, became paralysed. He received very serious spinal, spinal injury. Spinal injury, he yeah. did indeed, yes, he did, and was unconscious on and off for about a week and then just couldn't walk. Can you tell me, why is Sparky so special to you? Well, in many ways, but I suppose the, the principal reason is that my husband died two years ago and I feel that he's a link with him because we had him, you know, for eight years. Yeah. Yes, and um, his, the fact that he's a fighter and a survivor yeah. is attractive, I think, too. Your own personal input towards nursing this dog has been quite tremendous. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes, well, um, for two years, as I told you, he's not able, he wasn't able to walk at all, so I carried him everywhere. Um, I, he's incontinent, which becomes a, a bit of a problem. But I think it's like everything else. Um, if you like something well enough, you're prepared to, to deal with it and you make your own arrangements and they work. As an animal lover and as an animal owner, would you tell me when you consider an animal should be put down? Um, I would not put an animal down unless I was advised by my uh, veterinary surgeon. And he would have to tell me then that the dog was in pain and was not going to survive, was not going to get better. But it would be the last decision I would make. Yeah. I would do anything that I could in the meantime. Yeah. Sparky's personality, is, he's a very independent character. Um, sometimes you wonder if he really loves you, and then he will show his affection. But he's a very independent character. And lives a lifestyle, a very independent lifestyle. Oh, very independent lifestyle. Yeah. And yeah. he's not very demanding. He's very, very good, really. Mm. He's very good. Once you do the necessities for him, he's, yeah. he's quite happy. How long did it take to train Sparky to the buggy? Five minutes, I'd say, of getting the buggy. Because there again, I reckon that if he was... Um, he's a, being a terrier, etc., and um, being so determined, that uh, nothing would put him off, so not, it wasn't a bit strange to him. He adapted straight away. Yeah, and he... he and he's, he's improved, of course, with it, but he... Yeah, he, he has improved in his spinal uh, problem, is he's getting more feeling on the hind legs as yes, well. Yes, he as is. As a result of being involved yes, with the buggy. Yes, yes, you can yeah. see that yourself. He's, he's giving himself physiotherapy. Absolutely. <laughs> Excellent.